Welcome to the Point Avenue English Enrichment Course webinar. My name is Jai Detoy, a board certified English and life orientation teacher with a postgraduate in psychology. I am the curriculum specialist at Point Avenue. I design the English arts courses and I am the author of the English Enrichment Course. I am very excited to introduce to you this course and explain what sets this course apart from other English courses. Before we begin, I would like to take this moment to introduce to you the Point Avenue's educational philosophy and the roadmap that we have for our students. At Point Avenue, we implement inquiry-based learning. In this, we focus on a holistic approach to education, ensuring that all elements of the child's education are nurtured and given a space to grow. By creating a student-centric environment that promotes character building, critical thinking, innovation, and motivation, we work towards nurturing future leaders. We believe the best learning takes place when students have an active role in their educational experience. Point Avenue provides a comprehensive, one-stop solution for parents seeking international education services from their children, from K to 12. Our elementary program provides English learning at a foundational level, debate and other enrichment and STEAM programs. Our middle school programs include the English language arts courses, debate, test preparation and other enrichment courses that help improve the students' reading and writing. Our high school programs focus on debate, test preparation and admissions consulting which helps students get into premium universities across the globe. This webinar will cover what the English Enrichment course is and how it differs from the ELA courses and how this course can help students be prepared for international schools. What is the English Enrichment course? The English Enrichment course combines the latest in educational theory and technology to provide a learning experience that maximizes teacher and student contact and focus on output and skills development. Now, that sounds great, but how do we go about achieving this? To answer that, I will cover the overall course structure, lesson structure, educational theories, and skills development processes. Course overview. The English Enrichment course has one overarching theme, in this case, global citizenship. Thus, the students will not only learn about the different countries of the world, but explore their cultures and gain the skills needed to examine and communicate this information. The course is broken into three units, each with a different focus and project. Let's take a look at these units. Unit one, academic countries of the world. This unit focuses on improving the students' academic skills in which they will learn about different countries. We each have our own view of the world based on our personal experiences and culture. To better understand other countries, we will examine how people learn about and experience each other through tourism, immigration, and international schools. Students will each choose a country to research and learn how to properly structure and reference an essay about that country. They will learn about the public speaking skills needed to give a lecture or share information with a group of people so that they can present their research to the class. Students will not be passive in the learning process, but active in creating and sharing the content with each other. The most valuable academic skills are learning how to find, understand, and share information. With those skills, their learning is not limited to the classroom and opens a door to the entire world of possibilities. Unit 2. Creative. Folk Tales of the World. This unit strives to inspire the students 
creativity. We will take them on a journey around the world through the folk tales of Asia, Africa, America and Europe. From heroes to tricksters, from dragons and giants to clever maids, we will explore how different parts of the world used stories to make sense of the natural world while creating an entertaining way to pass on their values that are central to their culture. Stories are not only meant to be heard and read, but they're also meant to be told. The students will learn the elements of storytelling and step by step create their own folktale. They will also learn the public speaking skills needed to tell a compelling story that can captivate an audience. Storytelling is a valuable skill and can benefit almost every aspect of their lives, something many people forget. This is their opportunity to flex their creative muscles and take part in a tradition that predates history, a tradition that is the very cornerstone of humanity. Unit three, practical, journalism. The unit will not only expose the students to different types of print and digital news, but it'll also provide them the tools to understand how the information is expressed and the author's intention. They will first learn about the type of content, then write their own articles. In this process, they will explore many different writing styles, structures, and intended outcomes. As a result, they will have a broad understanding of how journalism operates and what it produces. Each week, the students will have a writing task and, as in the world of journalism, a deadline. This will help enforce personal accountability and discipline. The final project will have the students work together to edit each other's writing, select one of the articles and present it as part of a news broadcast. This experience will help them improve their ability to work as a team from planning stage all the way through to its conclusion. While many people believe that the news is simply the relaying of information, this ignores the role of the journalist and how their thoughts, opinions and ideas could influence their work. A journalist has the difficult job of balancing information as they see it and the information as others see it while being aware of how their words will be understood or even how it could influence others. Ultimately, through journalism and the news, we strive not only to learn about the world, what is happening, why it matters, and how it affects the lives of others, but to gain a deeper understanding and empathy. In this unit, the students will put all that they have learned into practice. Lesson structure. As an after-school course, the way in which we structure our lessons must reflect the unique situation and make full use of the time spent with the students. Many after-school courses often mimic the lesson structures of conventional school classes. This is not ideal for many reasons. And in this course, we worked hard to design a learning structure that would, that would make full use of the contact time and ensure the students got the most out of every moment they spend with the teacher. To achieve this, we made sure that any work that could be done at home was planned and prepared before class so that during the lesson it can be reviewed, problems can be identified, feedback can be provided, and discussions about the contexts and themes can be facilitated. Then in class, the students can be taught and practice the writing and speaking skills needed to complete the unit project. And then at home, they can use that skill to work towards the completion of that project. This ensures that the teacher has multiple points of contact and feedback on the skills and tasks the students are working towards. The result is a learning flow that has three parts. The first, preview, in which the students complete either the listening 
or reading comprehension and review the vocabulary list provided. I will go into greater detail about the comprehension later in the webinar. Two, in class, the teacher will review the student's answers, highlight areas where they may have struggled, provide them with individualized and tailored mentorship to improve their comprehension skills and facilitate class discussions about the content as it pertains to the theme and project. The students will then review the vocabulary to help with information retention. Building a strong vocabulary is a vital component in the learning process. The students will also be taught grammar concepts that correlate with the content that was covered. In each lesson, the students will be taught a speaking and writing skill. It is important that when a student learns a skill, they must be able to contextualize it and understand how it works towards a goal or function. That is why each writing and speaking skill taught to the students is integral to the completion of the unit's final project. In fact, the final mark of each project reflects the skills taught and practiced by the students. Hence, each of the writing and speaking assessments has its own unique rubric, something that you'll not find in many other English courses. This will help the student understand what is expected of them and guide them in the completion of the task. Simply put, if we want our students to succeed, we have to clearly show them what success looks like and how to achieve it. After class, the students can review the writing and speaking skills they were taught by working towards the completion of the unit project. No textbooks will be needed, as all the resources they will need can be accessed via the online portfolio. This means that at any time, the teacher can check up on the student's progress and give feedback. It also allows the parent to monitor their child's work. All homework assessments, worksheets, reading content, video content, rubrics and deadlines are clearly explained in the portfolio. Simple and efficient. Skills development. The four main skills in a language course are as follows. Reading, writing, listening and speaking. These skills can be separated into two groups comprehension skills and communication skills. Reading and listening are comprehension skills, while speaking and writing are communication skills. In this course, we have paired those skill groups together. This allows the naturally acquired skills of listening and speaking to reinforce the artificially acquired skills of reading and writing. Comprehension skills. In each unit, the students will complete two reading comprehensions and two listening comprehensions. The content for each has been carefully curated and edited to meet the student's level and provide further information about the theme. What truly makes these comprehensions stand out is its use of Bloom's taxonomy to help the student build towards high level thinking. The questions are structured in such a way that it leads the student from the foundational levels of understanding to the higher levels of comprehension. The first section focuses on remember and understand. This helps the students recall facts and demonstrate a basic understanding of what they have read or heard. The second section focuses on apply and analyze. This helps the student use the information to solve problems and examine the information in greater detail. The third section focuses on evaluating and creating. This helps the student connect the information in different ways to form new ideas and defend opinions by making judgments about the information. Each unit has a final project in which the student can showcase the writing and speaking skills they have learned during the unit. The writing task is the content used in the presentation. This allows the student more time to focus on their presentation and public speaking skills. 
the difference between ELA and the English Enrichment course. The creation and introduction of this course is done specifically to broaden our repertoire and provide a multitude of learning opportunities. As our students differ, so do their educational needs. ELA, English Language Arts. The ELA program is more book focused in that we follow the content as provided by the National Geographic Pathways books and use the content provided to guide the learning process. One semester covers five units, each one its own theme, academic focus, and writing and speaking assessment. This exposes students to a variety of ideas, concepts, topics, which helps the student foster a broad general knowledge and vocabulary. This is especially useful for students who are working towards taking a standardized tests, as we have found this is often an area in which second language speakers fall behind when compared to native speakers. To cover these various themes and still provide a valuable and impactful learning experience, the course works to improve the student's English through a repeated and consistent unit structure. In this way, students improve through guided practice and individualized feedback. While a broad approach provides the benefit of covering many topics, it unfortunately cannot do so in great depth and detail. Though, because the structure is consistent throughout the four levels, foundation, beginner, intermediate, and advanced, once the student has started the program, they know what to expect, they know what they have to do, and this familiarity and structure makes it far easier for a student to understand their role in the class and focus on improving their English. English Enrichment Course. The English Enrichment Course is more theme focused and uses that to inform the content of the three focus areas, academic English, creative English, and practical English. Each of those areas has unique skills and content associated with them. It also helps the student understand the function of the language and how it can manifest differently depending on the person's intentions. As a result, there are three units and one theme. By unifying the theme, the focus can become more on the skills development and each unit builds upon the previous one, all in the service of better understanding the central concept. This more specific approach, while only having three writing assessments and three speaking assessments, allows us to cover each of those areas in far greater depth than is possible in the ELA course. While each assessment in the ELA course is associated with a single skill being learned and practiced, to complete each assessment in the enrichment course, the student learns and is marked on four different skills. These skills are carefully chosen and covered in detail so that they work together to form a final project for each of the units. This means that every step, every lesson, and every skill learnt is an integral part of the learning process. As a result, the required level of commitment from the student is higher in the English Enrichment course. Preparation for international schools. So, how does all this help to prepare students for an international school? Many international schools use curriculum from either America, England, or Australia. These curriculums require an English capacity at or very near first language level grade. These curriculums require an English capacity at or very near a first language speaker grade level. For many second language students, one of the greatest hurdles to excelling in these schools is struggling to comprehend the content and questions presented to them. The other area in which they struggle is communicating their thoughts and ideas effectively. Those are the two main criteria by which they are marked upon. The English Enrichment course helps students overcome these hurdles. The use of Bloom's taxonomy allows students 
to greatly improve their comprehension skills and guides them towards higher level thinking. Having the space and opportunity to improve these higher level thinking skills gives them a great advantage when dealing with content and expected outcomes that are part and parcel of an international school curriculum. For many of these schools, simply being able to memorize and regurgitate information is insufficient in achieving high marks. Their focus is on facilitating and testing the student's capacity at a higher level of cognitive function. While many English courses provide students with the foundational knowledge and the skills to pass standardized tests, this is one area in which they often fail to assist the student. In terms of communicating their thoughts and ideas, one area in which students might struggle is in their confidence. This is especially true when it comes to public speaking. Public speaking is one of the most common fears people have. The English Enrichment course has an exceptionally robust skills development program when it comes to public speaking. It covers a wide range of skills that not only focus on academic communication, but also how to make one's verbal communication captivating to an audience. This gives students the cornerstone upon which to build their confidence and an added feature of giving them charisma. This confidence and charisma make it easier for students to integrate into new environments as they have the skills to connect with other people and communicate with them in such a way that it grabs their attention. Aside from the skills, the content covered in this course also gives students the capacity to understand and empathize with people all over the globe. In an international school, there is a good chance that they will meet people from other countries. This course opens the world to the students and allows them to experience many different nationalities and cultures. As a result, when they meet people from different countries, not only will they be able to communicate with them, but also, empath but also empathize with them and make stronger and more meaningful connections. This will help improve their capacity to integrate into the school environment and make lasting and valuable memories, along with excelling academically. I would like to thank each and every parent for taking the time to join us today. As a special promotion, those of you who filled out the registration form for this webinar are invited to a free English enrichment course demo tomorrow, the 23rd of January. There is also a discount for registering for the English Enrichment course starting after TET. Please scan the QR code to connect with our course consultants to find out more about this and other courses available at Point Avenue. I'd like to say thank you very much and chup mang namoy.